Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and I'm so excited to share today's video with you because we're doing a new series on my channel called Create Your Own Dupe. This series is heavily inspired by Kelly Gooch and Lauren May Beauty, who both have series like these on their channel. Kelly's is called Shop Your Staff for Dupes and Lauren's called Let's Dupe It. So they take single shadows and shadows and eyeshadow palettes to dupe new palettes and see if they have the colors in their collection. I love videos like this because sometimes I feel like, like palettes are arranged in such an appealing way that I think it's brand new, but I might even have all the colors in my collection already. So I love being able to pull colors that I already have and seeing if I can create my own dupe palette. As you probably saw from the title of the video, the palette we're going to try to dupe today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Alyssa Edwards palette. This palette just dropped the other day and I thought the colors were pretty, but I was almost sure I had everything in my collection. So this is the dupe that I created for the palette. I think I did a pretty good job judging from the swatches that I've seen. And if you want to see the colors that I use, just keep on watching. So I want to start off with the disclaimer before we get into the swatching that this might not necessarily be the cheaper alternative. Buying all these singles and the palettes that I'm presenting definitely isn't cheaper than going out and buying the Anastasia Alyssa Edwards palette. But if you already have some of these colors, or it might just inspire you to look in your own collection before you buy the new release. So I'm not saying you necessarily have to run out and grab these, just maybe see if you have some of the colors and it's something you would like to create yourself. So the first color in the palette is the shade Headliner, which is a matte white. And to dupe this, which is the easily most dupable shade in this, I'm going into the shade No Spots in the ColourPop X Disney Villains palette. This is just a matte white shade, but there are a bunch of these. Another dupe that I was originally going to present from this for this series is from the Riviera palette in the shade Sales, which is once again a matte white. The next shade is called Inspire, and it's a shimmery gold color. And to dupe this, I'm going into the shade Dreamer from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Marvina palette. I was actually able to dupe a fair amount of these shades in other existing Anastasia palettes, which is super exciting because I have a fairly large Anastasia palette collection. So this is the shade Dreamer. The next shade is a matte pink with purple undertones called Unicorn Tribe. And to dupe this, I went into my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I pulled this color called Zobo. Zobo is a little bit more purple, but swatch, they actually, actually look really similar. So this is the next shade. The shade that immediately caught my eye in the palette is the matte yellow shade called Brick Road. And I've always wanted Anastasia to put a matte yellow in the palette, but I actually do have some matte yellow singles. And the one that I'm gonna pull from is one of my singles from ColourPop in the shade take flight and it's just a matte yellow. But another easily dupable shade would be if you have the ColourPop Yes Please palette because that's a pretty warm tone palette. I know it has such a nice yellow in there. So this is the shade Take Flight from ColourPop. The next shade Texas Made is a matte hot pink and immediately my mind went to the Riviera palette and to the color Bahamas which is the matte hot pink here. So I think the one in the Alyssa palette is a little less hot pink, like not as vibrant, but on the eyes, they probably look about the same. So this is the shade Bahamas from the Riviera palette. The shade that I thought was the hardest to dupe was the blue shade called Dream It. And I'm actually going back into the ColourPop X Disney Villains palette, and I'm using this navy blue called The Fates. This looks a lot more navy in the pan, but it's actually a more royal blue once you swatch it, and I'll show you guys right now. So this is the Fates. The next shade is just a simple brown, so I'm going back into the Riviera palette and pulling the shade Palm, which is a matte brown pressed pigment. Staying in for the Riviera palette for our next shade called the Supreme, it's a matte peach color and I'm going to grab the shade Coastline. Another good dupe for the shade would be the peach in the subculture palette, which I think it's called Eden, or is that the one in the Prism palette? But Anastasia Beverly Hills actually has quite a few peaches in their palette, so it'd be pretty easy to dupe within other Anastasia palettes. The next shade is called HOE, and it's just a matte neutral brown. 
So I'm going back into the Riviera palette and pulling the shade Incense, which is just a matte neutral brown. The next shade is DDC, which is a matte or the shimmery purple. And I'm going back into the Masquerade palette and I'm pulling this purple here called Makeda. It looks a little bit more true purple versus the one in the Anastasia palette, a blue purple, but you can mix this with a blue, but realistically, it's not that much different. The next shade is a matte purple burgundy color, and I'm using another single from ColourPop, and this one is in the shade Razzy. I believe this is actually from I Love Sarah E's first collaboration with ColourPop, where she came up with those, the Shiki and the other, there were four pan palettes of single shadows, and I actually bought this single, and it's a perfect dupe for this color, or at least it looks like it's a perfect dupe. So this is the ColourPop shade. Back into the Riviera palette to dupe our next shade, which is the shade Beyond. And I'm going to go into this shade called Palermo, which is a shimmery pink color. Staying in the Riviera palette once more to dupe the shade Believe, which is a matte purple, we're gonna go right into the shade Canes, which is a matte purple. And the last shade of the palette is the shade Beast, which is a matte black. And once again, we're gonna go back into the ColourPop Disney Villains palette and pick the shade 101. If you have other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, both the Soft Glam and the Sultry palette and the Prism palette have matte blacks that you could also interchange. So this is my dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Alyssa Edwards palette. To be honest, I think I did a pretty good job. Looking at my swatches and the swatches on other YouTube videos and the Tread Mood One Instagram page and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Instagram page, I think this looks pretty good. Doing videos like this reminds me to go into my own eyeshadow palette collection and make sure I'm using my colors because sometimes palettes are arranged in a way that it's so inspiring, but it might be something you already have in your collection. And I was kind of surprised to see how much I could dupe using existing Anastasia palettes. It kind of makes me want to look at my Anastasia palette and see if there's dupes within the ones that I already have. But if you like this video and you want to see more of this series, please let me know down below because I had so much fun filming it and going into my eyeshadows and swatching and playing. If you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I post about two to three videos every week and I'd love to have you come back and join me on my next one. But thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you in my next one.